Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The Pro League action continues here live from MLG Studios in New York, and I'm joined this evening by, of course, Maven in California. Hey, pal. How are you doing today? Doing wonderful. You know, I was just thinking about how much I like this map as a hardpoint map, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I haven't cast it with you yet. New to the rotation here in season three, but what are your thoughts so far? I think it's definitely a, a better hardpoint map than it is a search and destroy map. Fact. How you kind of look at it after that is is very up to you. Um, personally, not a fan of the Avalanche, gonna be honest. But you know, it uh, seems like a good map. We've seen some pretty close games so far. Um, hopefully, this one doesn't disappoint. Of course, Denal versus Elevate. Denal lead the series 2-1. Back over now to a Denal host. Maeve, is, is this series over? It's going to game five. You sure about that, Maeve? I'm not sure at all. Classic though, on a four streak right now, five and one, make it a five streak as he's getting damaged down there third story. He's gonna be rotating over to the top of the next hard point. His shot is on point right now. He's able to pick up one more drop. Didn't see a player to his right. Finally gonna be pushed out. But uh, seven and two start there for Classic. Nikki D, rolling early. He's uh, looking good early on in this game. As uh, replays leading the way. Borden now on board with him and in your mind maybe if there's anyone from Elevate who's going to lead this charge and potentially put them in a, in a good position who's that player going to be? I have to, honestly the start I saw from Classic right now I think he's the I guess the biggest X factor on the team uh, the one that can be a little up and down at times but a very very strong player I'm looking for I'm looking for Classic to have a big one they need him too I just feel with, uh, you know, with Apathy, Slack, Saints, you kind of know what you're going to get. Even though Apathy, Apathy starting 1-7 and seven is kind of starting to link, uh, starting to, link to me, is I think he's one of the best respawn players in the game. You can't have him starting that slow. We'll see on your screen now, Classic at 10-4. and four. A big stop from him, as you kind of previously touched on. But it is going to be Denal, who has that lead. 54-235 as we now move towards the next hard point. Some big kills being won. Saints, of course, on that hard point. That's the battle, though. And in such a small hard point, you kind of prefer that ASM one, but somehow making it work right now, maybe, and bringing Elevate back into this game. Yeah, and they, I, what was the first hard point? They started up 20 or 30 points, then they ended up trailing. It was really back and forth to the end. We'll see if we get more of the same here. I'm going to be going back to Classic just because he's had such a hot start. He's going to get dropped, but I'm going to go back to him through the respawn and just see if he can keep rolling right now. 7.20 left on the clock, all but a tied game. 20 seconds here before we're gonna see the rotation. Next hard point, you scheme, uh, checking in to see his e shop there, but he is going to drop. And that was Slasher and Temp coming up with a big hit. Currently on board now with Saints, uh, as he's making his way over towards that Christmas tree side. Trying to set up ready for the next hard point, and you know, that first hard point we saw Maven was so back and forth, it, it, it really was before finally, you know, we saw Denal pull away at the very end. First rotation of Hills on Drip, pretty similar, to be honest. No one really getting themselves a big lead. Oh, no one able to pull away yet, and that's, uh, I think if, but between these two teams, I think if somebody does go up by 50, 60 plus points, um, I, I think that'll be it. <laughs> if it doesn't stay tight like this, just because when a team's able to pull up by that much with this level of players, I think they'll be able to push away, but we'll see here. I'm watching Apathy right now. He started out, I think it was 2-8, and eight, something like that. He's bounced back to 9-11, so he started to get it going. He's going to get flanked there in the hard point. Going to lose that fight as it was contested. That's going to be an entire denial kill feed there. You see everyone from Elevate going to drop. And this lead, they actually right now are starting to really pull away, Ben. Yeah, starting to get themselves that big chunk of a lead. Going to be just over... 40 points as you go over towards the final hill. However, Elevate looking to get a chunk of time back early on here. Set up quite nicely. Of course, Avalanche will be coming in on this hard point as well. So do bear that in mind. You don't want to be too far over towards the snow side. Denial trying to slay their way back over here, but Elevate getting a lot of free time here, Maven. They really have, and they're starting to pull it back. Like you said, no one can really get that big lead. And that's a bit to do with Classic. As he picked up some kills, he's finally going to drop the Slasher. Really back and forth there on the kill feed. 30 seconds left here before kicking into the second side. And here comes that Avalanche. I know you love it. <laughs> yeah, something like that, maybe. Something like that. You, you strike me as a downhill sledder. As a what? Downhill, not a skier, not a snowboarder, but a sledder. A sledder? I, I have been known to sled in my day. So, you're, you're not incorrect surprise with me. that. Doesn't surprise me remotely, then. Props to Elevate coming really back into this game despite a 
40 point lead. They've managed to reduce that massively, but now just unable to break this half point. Apathy starting to heat up a little bit on a two streak as well. Saints back into his uh, usual performances after underperforming somewhat in that uh, blink. 209 to 116, the score, as we go back in towards our first hill of our second rotation. Basically, all even, Maven. Yeah, I was watching Saints there in the hard point. He was trying to peek, trying to pick up a couple kills. Ended up getting dropped, though, as unfortunately, he had two players looking there at a crossfire. 30 seconds left in this one. The battle really going down for the hard point control right now. Replay is bouncing around there with the ASM1, able to get a long distance kill with it. And still the lead at 20. They haven't really been able to crack inside of that, but elevate. They've been staying alive. Flash See if they can come back when it comes down to the wire. Flash are doing a really good job of just lying on this hill, picking up free time. That's that's remarkable. You look at this first half point of how small it is and how open it is, and you're like, oh yeah, no one's gonna be able to lock that down. Flash is like, don't even worry about it, Best, and I got it. Five kill streak, no big deal. 26 and 20 performance from him, and that, that lead is, is just back again. All of Elevate's hard work basically just disintegrated. And guess what? Denal set up on the second half point as well. So Elevate just kind of falling asleep there for the past you know, 50 seconds or so. Going to have to have a big performance to break the second hill because this is one of those money hills, maybe. If you lock this down, it's so, so tough to break. It really is. As long as they can keep somebody from getting on the top of this building here, overlooking the hard point, you can get a ton, ton of damage done. That's going to be Temp's job. He's got the front window covered. Also watching backside, but he's going to make sure no one's just able to jump up here and get control. He's now going to actually go second story. And you can do a ton of damage with this if you have an accurate bow. You'll see him able to pick up one with the headshot. He's not going to get pushed from behind. A bit of a pinch there as he is going to fall. But look at the lead, Ben. It yep. is now 70 points. I thought that if it got to a lead like this, they wouldn't be able to come back with it. As long as back and forth as it's been throughout this one, I think, unfortunately, this is trouble here for Elevate. Yeah, damage really has been done the past couple of hills. And Elevate just really allowing them to do that. They had a great final hill. They bring themselves all the way back into the game and then just fall off. Now, can they bring themselves back here? This could be a big, big hard point if they can lock it down. You know, they have plastic inside, they have slack inside as well. You know, all it takes is one good hard point and they're back in this game. It's not too crazy, especially considering how Denal struggled to break into that final hard point. But if Denal break this, which they have, could be Trouble City now for Elevate. Is that lead is going to be back at the 70 points. Really, Elevate going to struggle to bring themselves back in now. Oh, uh, yeah, especially since they've got map control right now. They've got players covering the front back. Also, inside is going to be Hook. He's able to pick up one. He gets one jumping in the front, one jumping in the back. Great job there to lock it down. And this lead is just starting to get too big. A little over two minutes left. They have almost a 100-point advantage. And uh, I just haven't seen anything from Elevate. I mean, there's only been only one, one hard point maybe out of... I'm trying to think. Even even in the first game on retreat, there wasn't really one hard point. They really locked down confidently for me. And this yeah. one just slipping for their fingers. No, you're you're right. They really haven't looked too comfortable. But Denial now just 14 points away from closing it out. So game five not going to happen as we kind of expected. I mean, could maybe still happen, but highly unlikely. That's for sure. And more importantly, made that kind of out there pick that you went with. The only one to go with Elevate going to cost you in the Cassis predictions too. Uh, you know what? I just, I think that due to me having the audacity to pick it and just the complete lack of knowledge or understanding of what was going to happen in this series, I think I should get at least half of a point. Half of a point. Okay. I, I would like half of a point, yes. Half of a point. That's, yeah. We'll, we'll see if we can make that happen for you. Mate. Thank you, thank you, Ben. Give you, give you half. Um, but and I have a lot more upsets to pick tonight, so there's a you good do. chance I'm going 0-4. Yes, there is a wonderful uh, <laughs> chance that you're going 0-4. This could be a terrible, terrible evening for you. I, I think in the last game you, you had OG, though, so I think you should be uh, good. Yeah, I picked, let's see, I got, yeah, I took Elevate in this one. I take Epsilon versus ON, as far as I know, Epsilon is not one yet. Um, ISO versus TCM, I feel I feel pretty good about, good about it. Obviously, TCM, though, looking to come alive with this new roster. OG, yeah, we'll see. Hey, there's, there's a lot of Call of Duty action to come. There is, there is. This is, of course, just game number one, but congratulations to Denal. Continue the unbeaten streak with the 3-0 win over Team Elevate. Let's look at that scoreboard uh, to kind of close things out. Looking at a couple of players. Classic, a solid performance from him, a 4,875 score. That's, uh, that's a bit of a chunky, chunky one temp, 4,000. 450, looking at Hook as well, 4,950. And of course, if you're wondering, you know, why am I so worried about player scores? Why why is he, you know, writing down those kind of information? It's not really that important. Well, it is, because those casters are in a Vulcan 
Lee, uh, sorry, Vulcan Fantasy, and uh, well, she I'm not in it yet because I not, need you're to get set yet up. because you're lazy. But that I brings will. me that's that's part of it. Yeah, that's true. To the Vulcan scoreboard after the game. I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh, and we can kind of see exactly where we lie. Go go over to the live fantasy. How bad did you beat Matt? I'm guessing by eight thousand points. Close, actually, seven thousand points. I am cast at two. Matt is cast at one. Uh, yeah, I, I, that was a pretty I, good guess. I completely pwned him quite massively. You can oh. see a couple of picks for me in that last game. Saints, uh, I had Temp and Apathy all performing very, very well. It's going to give me a lead uh, so far in the fantasy this evening over Mr. X. But it's just one game. Still three more games to go tonight. For now, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. When we return, Epsilon versus Optic Nation.